Good morning, Breesis Geckos. Good morning, Mrs. Winkleman. Good morning, Mr. Tilly. Welcome back to school. Yes, may the 4th be with you today. Yes. I like your Baby Yoda shirt. I have Baby Yoda too. Yours as well. I love Baby Yoda. Yes, I do too. <laughs> Well, I hope that everybody enjoys um, having fun with this extra surprise um, spirit day, last minute decision. We completely forgot about May the 4th, but yesterday we remembered and decided, yep, it can be May the 4th be with you day. That's right. So thank you, Ms. Bergers, for the reminder too, and for the cute little characters that reminded us. Yes. And then all the, the links that Ms. Bergers had sent out yesterday too for uh, like different brain breaks and stuff. We're going to have some fun today for sure. Yes. Yes. Teachers, check those out. I'm sure your students would love to do those. Well, yesterday we celebrated some of our um, teacher candidates on their graduation day. And we had one more picture. This is Miss Sinacori. She was in um, second grade with Miss mm -hmm. Foster and she was a graduate too. So we got her picture. We just wanted to include it. So congratulations again to all of those ASU Sun Devil TCs. We had fun dressing in our Sun Devil gear yesterday in your honor. Another great share. These are my friends, um, Kyle and Kaylee, Kai mm -hmm. and Kaylee, and they won third place in their soccer game. I was so proud of them. They must be on the same team, but they both got their little trophies. How special brother and sister, both big winners in their soccer games. So I'm sure their family had lots of fun celebrating and congratulations to you guys on that hard work. And then we have another share. This is Isla, and she's been practicing her skateboarding skills, and she had some videos for you. Here she is. Stop, stop. Oh, right. I'm gonna bring <laughs> Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Woo! Very cool, Brisa's <laughs> dinosaur. And here's one more. Ooh. Yeah, she was practicing her spelling, her dad said. When he sent those to me, he said that's one of the ways that she she is active at the same time as practicing her sounding out and her spelling. So wow. very, very cool. I let the con thank you for sending those in. I hope you keep that skateboarding up. My daughter is a girl skateboarder and she loves it. It's a sport she's loved since she was as little as you too. So good choice. All right, we have some great PE shares from Mrs. Gonzalez. This is Miss Bemis's class, and um, she was excited to share this. Very cool. Looks like everybody's getting lots of great exercise in PE. And then this is my friend Weston. He is a fourth grader, and here's a slow mo video of him from PE. Oops. Oh, wait, go back. I want to see. Go back. Yes, <laughs> here it is. I clicked the, it wrong. There it is. Here he comes in slow motion. Oh, he's going to do the hurdle. The hurdle. <gasps> oh, big Ooh. jump. Oh, that's awesome, Weston. <laughs> that's awesome. Yes. That is awesome indeed. Great job. What a fun thing to do. All right. Well, we had another great share. This is from Miss Nelson's class. They have been learning about animal habitats and they sent me so many nice pictures. And when I get lots of pictures all together like this, I always like to do something special with them. So I have this to share with you today. Pigs are animals that live on the farm. They eat, sleep, and play there all day long. The farm is the place they grow healthy and strong. It's their habitat, their home. It's where they belong. Alligators are animals that live in the swamp. They eat, sleep, and play there all day long. The swamp is the place they grow healthy and strong. It's their habitat, their home. It's where they belong. H-A-B-I-T-A-T. -A -A habitat, habitat is their home. H-A-B-I-T-A-T. -A -A habitat, habitat. It's where they belong. Cheetahs are 
animals that live in the grasslands. They eat, sleep, and play there all day long. The grasslands are the place. They grow healthy and strong. It's their habitat, their home. It's where they belong. Polar bears are animals that live in the Arctic. They eat, sleep, and play there all day long. The Arctic is the place they grow healthy and strong. It's their habitat, their home. It's where they belong. H A P I T A T. Habitat, habitat is their home. H A P I T A T. Habitat. Habitat, it's where they belong. Yay. Well, thank you so much, Miss Nelson's class, for that. Um, we appreciate that. You did all of that hard work. It looks like really good projects, and it looked like it took a lot of work to get those all accomplished. So we're, we hope you had fun learning about habitats. Well, we have some teacher appreciation shares that we would like to recognize. So this is McKinley and her sister Kyla, and they are in Miss Foster and Miss Bemis's class. And they wanted to say thank you, Mrs. Bemis, and thank you, Miss Foster, for being such great teachers. Aww, we so agree. Sweet. They are great. And then we have this special video from Miss Fry's class. I think it's a surprise for Miss Fry too. Here it is. Thank you. Yay! Thank you to Miss Jamie. Miss Jamie sent me that yesterday and I loved it. Well, thank you. And Miss Fry, you are the best. We appreciate you too. And we have one more video. I think Miss Bergers knows about this when she's seen it, but I just thought it was so awesome that I had to share it. So um, a mom in her class worked with some of the other students in the class and they had this wonderful surprise for Miss Bergers for Teacher Appreciation Week. Here it is. Oops, my videos today. Here it is. There's Olivia. And Mariana. Johnny. And so we. Oh, Miss Bergers, your kids love you. That was so sweet. I just was so surprised by that when I saw it. It was just such a nice thing to do and so beautifully put together too. Great technology skills. Well, thank you guys for doing that and for honoring your teachers. And remember, Teacher Appreciation Week is all week long. So teachers, close your ears. Staff, close your ears. If you have um, pictures or videos that you would like to send in, please, anybody that would like to do that, send them to breezesnews at kyrene.org all week long this week. And tomorrow, um, if you would like to drop off a dessert to the front office, it can be homemade or store-bought. We're going to put all of those out for staff on Thursday, and it's going to be just the greatest day of the week for them. So <laughs> families, if you have um, desserts you would like to share, please do. And Ms. And Winkle can be homemade or store-bought. Yeah, homemade or store-bought. And Ms. Swinkleman, I have some appreciation for us and for two other people. See this cute little picture. Let me get it real I close do. up on the screen. I love it. So it is from Hazel in Miss Jones's class and it says, thank you, Miss Swinkleman, Miss Satilli, Miss Terry, and thank you, Miss Jones. You are amazing. I love you all. Miss Swinkleman, you are the best principal. Miss Satilli, you are the best assistant principal. Miss Terry, you are the best lunch teacher. And Miss Jones, you are the best teacher. Well, isn't that sweet? Thank you, Hazel. We're going to hang it up. And if you look really close, Miss Winkleman, this is me. Oh, this is you. It's got a W. This is you. This is me. <laughs> I think this is Miss Terry and this is Miss Jones. We all have our masks on, but look, we match. Oh, 
<laughs> Isn't awesome. that cute? And of I course can, we do. We do. And I can even tell what shirt we're wearing. It's the purple tie dye with that. a Gordon in the middle. What an amazing so cute. amount of detail. Hey, yes. you know what? Can I share something too? Yes. I, I, this has been on my desk for, I think a, a week now. I just been just looking at it. It's been like a highlight of my day every single day. It's not made it to my door, but I will put it on my door today now. So this says, dear Miss Winkleman, you are the best principal I have ever had. Love Lucy. And then she gave me my very own water bottle sticker. Look at that. And it has, I believe this is, oops, other side over here. This is you and I. Yes, so cute. <laughs> so, and I got I love it. I got one too and mine is already hanging on my door but Lucy, look, my mine said <laughs> that I was as sweet as watermelon and this was my water <laughs> bottle sticker, my watermelon. And it's on my water bottle, Lucy, so I appreciate it. Thank Aww. you so much for that. So many sweet breezes geckos. All right. Well, just a reminder mm -hmm. that today today is one of our spirit days. It is um May the 4th be with you on Tuesday. And then this Friday, we have coming up Beach Day. So remember, anything beachy, beachy hats, beachy shirts, um, and sunglasses, things you would wear to the beach, no bathing suits, bathing suits, stay no. at home. But any other clothes that would be perfect for Beach Day, you can wear on Friday. We will have fun with that. All right. We have some Techie Tuesday shares. It is Tuesday, Miss Swinkleman, and these yeah. are from Miss Klotz. So there's Miss Klotz and a friend, and look at their shirts. They they're have wearing their, the Techie Tuesday shirt. Yes, their coding club shirts are so cute, and we have ours in our lineup for this week too. Mm -hmm. And there's some other friends. There's Jerry and Vivi, and they're coding. I saw Jerry yesterday with his. Um, coding club shirt. He was so excited about it. It was so fun to see him. Well, um, thank you, Miss Klotz, for that. And then we have one video. This must have been Thursday when coding club met. Let's look at the awesome code that students are writing. Yeah, look. Oh, it looks like a penguin. Miss Almendares would love that. And he's talking. You can see the text bubbles. Oh, there's his bedroom. Wow. This just amazes me. Every it time is. I see students work, what you can do with coding, it's like endless possibilities. Yes, and if you look at the side here, when, it, when the video went to the side of the screen, all of that is what they had to write. Like mm. every little tiny, word movement everything has to be coded it's just so amazing that you guys know how to, i don't i don't have any idea how to do that it's amazing that your students know how to do that it's wonderful work all right well with that miss winkleman i think it is time to talk not about peace but let's talk first about gordon the traveling gecko he had yes. the best week in miss bemis's class and you know, Gordon loves Miss Bemis very much, and he loves her class very much. And I think one of the reasons why is because they do that special Gordon dance. Have you seen them do yes. that Gordon dance, Swinkleman? Well, so, we participated once in that Gordon yes, dance. Yes, we did. It was super fun. So I counted up all of the PBIS tickets. He is ready to move on to his next group of friends. And it's just so funny how this has worked out. Every week he went kindergarten and he went first grade. He went second grade. So guess where he's going, Miss Swinkleman? Where? Third he grade? He's going to a third grade class oh. now. Oh. Yes, he is going on to a third grade class who had the most PBIS tickets last week. And it is going to be Mr. Tate's class. Oh. Congratulations, Mr. Tate. Your students had the most PBIS tickets last week. So we're very proud of them. And we hope you enjoy your week with Gordon. He will be down to see your class in a minute. That's awesome. All yes. right. Well, speaking of PBIS tickets, you know, the way students get PBIS tickets is when they're being respectful, responsible, and safe. So thinking about yesterday, it was Monday, the start of an awesome week. Thinking about that, Miss Attili was yesterday a peaceful day at Breesis. Well, Monday is always a day that I hope so much is going to be a peaceful day because it means sometimes that it's going to be a peaceful week. It's just a great way to start the week off. And it was a peaceful day. Yeah. Yes. Congratulations, Breesis Geckos. You were respectful, responsible, and safe all day long. We had a great day yesterday. So that brings us to 
I believe, Miss Foster's class. You might have to tell me if I'm wrong, but I think my sticky note says 118 days of peace, working towards our next peace day goal of 130. Oh my goodness. Okay, yes. well, that's terrific. Oh, okay. Well, may the force be with you today, boys and girls. Let's make sure today is peaceful for sure. At this time, let's have you please stand up for the Pledge of Allegiance. And let's have a peaceful day. Bye, Brisa Skeckos. Enjoy your moment of inspiration.